Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna take some branches and greens down to the Children's Relief Nursery to kind of Christmas up their pots. You know, we took those four containers down uh, earlier on this fall and planted them up. So I need to clean up all that stuff. I still haven't done that. So I'm gonna clean up all those containers and then just put some simple greens and branches. In fact, we're gonna cut branches out of this lilac right now and give them a little coat of spray paint. Uh, to make them look a little bit different. And then I do wanna take a few greens by our church. There are a couple pots that can be seen from the road that I thought would be kind of pretty just to, even though things are super different right now, um, it's still fun to have things look festive. So anyway, that's the plan for today. It is 23 degrees right now, like, see that? Like it is, it's fresh out here this morning, but it feels good. So this is the old lilac where we're gonna cut branches. It's over here on the west side where we started this new little area with the brick walkway. We're just developing that now. I do think that this lilac's gonna have to come out. The original, I mean, you can see the old original part here. There's a lot of dead wood in there, which I'll be waiting till spring to cut that out because I can't really tell where the dead wood is at the moment. But there are a ton of suckers down here that have just grown up from around the base of the plant. And I meant to clean this up earlier, uh, but didn't get around to it. And now I'm kind of glad I didn't because this will be a perfect use of some of these branches. So we'll get these branches cut and then we'll take them to the barn for some paint. We've got the branches all lined up here in the barn. We've got the barn door open. The reason I'm not spraying outside is because it is really cold and we wanna turn on this heater right when I'm done painting so that hopefully they'll dry really quickly. But I think it'll be all right. I've got my respirator here, I've got gloves, and then this is the paint I'm gonna use. This is what I had on hand, satin heirloom white. And the goal is not for complete coverage. I want them just to look kind of snowed on and just a little bit brighter. Uh, instead of just being all brown, but I don't want them to be solid white either. So here we go. <laughs> I think these are gonna show up a heck of a lot better than if I just left them brown. I think they're gonna be nice and bright. All right, so now we're gonna give those branches a chance to dry. I'm gonna run down to the relief nursery, clean up all of our fall stuff. I might take the greens to the church pots in the meantime as well. I don't know, I'm just gonna be coming and going and by the end of today, I should have them all done. Okay, so I'm here at the Relief Nursery. The branches actually dried super fast because I did such a light layer of paint. So I've got everything I need, I think, to finish. And what I'm gonna do, it looks like they already took care of the pumpkins and squash. I didn't make it back quite in time. Um, but I'm going to empty out 
the flowers that are in there. I might top them up with soil if we need to, and then I'm just gonna fill them up with some greens. Should be pretty easy. So just for quick reference, we've got the four self-watering containers. Those are the True Drops from Crescent Garden right there. And yeah, they've kind of succumbed to the cold. Not looking super hot anymore, so. The only thing I can anticipate taking a little bit longer is if the soil is frozen and it doesn't feel like it is. Oh, yay. This will be easy, easy. So here we go. they turned out so pretty and I love the white branches and that's something that I wanted to do at our house for the longest time but we have a white house and white fencing so it never seems to fit in where I want to use it so it works out beautifully down here though check these out I used the noble fir boughs incense cedar and princess pine so just a nice mix of greens so that's the noble fir incense cedar and princess pine and then look at those branches they're so pretty. And I couldn't decide whether or not to do a red bow in each one of the containers here, like do four bows and skip the center planter. And so I left it up to the ladies in the office. I asked them, like, what should I do? Just one bow around the center planter and leave the other ones? And they thought that would be a good look. And I have to agree, I think it's a nice little pop of red up here and it's totally unnecessary in the containers. Just keep those simple and natural but we still have the Christmas vibe up here. And the beautiful part about these containers is that they will go all the way through this month, through January, because it's just a really nice winter look. I mean, just remove the red bow and there you go. It's no longer Christmassy, it's just winter. And it's clean, I like that. So the last thing I'm gonna do before I leave actually is just water these all in. And I know that seems weird because they're not, they're cut branches and things, but if I water them right now, it will freeze either today or tonight and it'll freeze them all in place. And that's really important, especially because I top these up with fresh soil that's really loose. Uh, if we get a lot of wind, which this, front of the building is exposed to wind, it can dislodge branches and make a little bit of a mess. So we wanna get everything frozen in place. So I'll do that and then we'll head up to the church to do the two pots up there. All right, so I made it up to the church and it really looks like it's gonna be an easy job to fill these. So you can see the container right behind me with the fluffy arborvita. There's a little bit of lavender in there that I'll cut back, but the soil is not frozen, so this should go very, very quickly. Remember this little corner right here, the Bloodgood Japanese Maple, there is a oak leaf hydrangea. Was that a Gatsby Moon or a Gatsby Gal? I can't remember, it's gorgeous still. Look at the fall color. Love that plant. And there's a Carl Forrester Calamagratus, the fluffy arb, which has a beautiful shape. And then we've got a spruce and another calamagratus right there. And this one on the other side looks like I might need to tip that fluffy a little bit. It's looking a little bit like it's leaning. And there's a little bit of tip burn on this side. And I've noticed mine at home does this a tiny bit. Um, not bad, but they always bounce back. All right, so let's get after it. Okay, so we kept things pretty simple. I actually used the very last of my noble fir boughs. 
So I was trying to meter him out between both of these containers and these containers are huge. <laughs> um, so I used a little bit more in this one because this fluffy isn't quite as full. I did trim a little bit of the brown tips off, but I stayed away from the incense cedar on this one because of the yellow tips on it. I wanted to keep it very green and blue toned down on the bottom and just let the fluffy shine on top with the yellow instead of adding more to the bottom. But I just think it turned out really soft and natural and that's just exactly what I was going for. So backed up, you can see it. There are lights in the fluffy. I did cut through one of the lights <laughs> with my clippers. I was able to fix it though. Um, but yeah, just super, super simple. I could work some pine cones in at some point though. That might look nice. Let's go look at the other one. So this one is a little bit harder because there was a huge gap back here and very little gap right up here. So I just kind of tucked greens wherever it made sense. Kind of a wild look, really. And that is gonna be it for today's projects. I'm really excited to have these two little areas done in town. And I'm coming to the end of my greens now. So I've got no more noble fir. I've got a tiniest bit of princess pine and incense cedar. I might be able to squeeze one or two more small holiday projects in before Christmas. Um, and I don't even think I've got any holly left. Maybe a stem or two. <laughs> So I'm really happy that we were able to utilize everything that we ordered because I did order heavy when I was planning for those big containers along our east side fence line, but there's always a way to utilize the stuff and, and give it or use it in more projects or whatever. So I was going to also stop by the house and get Benjamin on my way from the relief nursery to the church because they have playground equipment here that he loves to play on. But I'm kind of glad I didn't because it is chilly. Like it's turned cold in the last 30 minutes or so. So I'm excited that I'm done, wrapped up. I'm going to go home, go inside. I think Aaron has a fire going. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye.